Heart failure is uh, both a common and a deadly disease. It afflicts about 5 million Americans and it causes uh, or it uh, contributes to one in nine deaths. And for our society, it results in more than a $40 billion uh, cost to our society. So it's a huge uh, and common, it's a common disease and it's a deadly disease. Uh, it's the number one reason why patients come into the hospital. So a huge problem. And we all know somebody who has heart failure. University of Minnesota uh, launched some of the first trials and led the world with regards to new therapies to both improve the quality of life and extend the quality of life with those that have heart failure. These were trials established in the 70s and the 80s, led by Jay Cohn, Gary Francis, and their team of, uh, of physician scientists, uh, again, all aimed at developing new therapies for heart failure. Uh, causes of heart failure include high blood pressure, they include coronary artery disease or heart attacks, it includes obesity, and it also includes refining muscular dystrophies. Muscular dystrophies are genetic diseases that affect uh, a significant number of people uh, in our society. Uh, most re know about Duchenne muscular dystrophy that afflicts young boys and, and terminates their lives early. It's a, it's a deadly disease. We also have myotonic dystrophies and limb girdle dystrophies. This is important because this is another group of diseases that have a very high incidence of heart failure. University of Minnesota is among the only programs in the country that now has heart failure specialists focused just on these neuromuscular diseases. It's important because uh, those patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, 100% of them will develop heart failure. And that will be the cause ultimately for their premature death. And so this is an opportunity for us here at the University of Minnesota to retard the progression of heart failure using new therapies, therapies that we've developed for heart failure patients that are much older, uh, but now we're applying to this patient population. But also the, the big goal is to prevent heart failure in this patient population. We're very fortunate here at the University of Minnesota to also have um, a, a nation's leading uh, muscular dystrophy center. Muscular dystrophies can include up to 44 different diseases. I've named uh, several of the more common, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, myotonic dystrophy, limb girdle muscular dystrophy, but many others as well. We're positioned here at the University of Minnesota because we're a regional center. That is, uh, we serve those patients in uh, the entire Midwest, the Dakotas, Iowa, Wisconsin. They all come here to the University of Minnesota to receive their care. So in total, we see upwards of 1,500 patients in our muscular dystrophy clinic. Uh, in the past, they have received outstanding neurological care. Uh, what we're providing now are adult heart failure specialists to see each and every one of these patients in collaboration with the neurologists. Our approach is really twofold. It's to uh, treat patients with, uh, at a very early stage with conventional therapies for heart failure. So instead of waiting until these patients develop heart failure, that is, uh, decreased heart function, we're going to treat them before they even begin to have their heart failure. And so uh, treating them with beta blockers, treating them with ACE inhibitors, with diuretics, uh, we hope to retard or to prevent the onset of disease. For those that do go on to progress to heart failure, uh, we at the University of Minnesota are going to use more advanced therapies, therapies such as uh, pumps, heart pumps, ventricular assist devices, and ultimately heart transplantation in those patients that would benefit from those advanced therapies. The future, I think, is extremely uh, bright and has tremendous hope. It has tremendous hope because taking these approaches, focusing on this patient population, uh, if we can unravel and decipher 
uh, the therapies that can prevent heart failure. In this patient population that we know 100% will develop heart failure, then we can apply this same therapeutic approach to those patients that have heart failure at a much older age. And so I think, uh, I think that for a disease that results in, or is the number one cause of, of hospitalization and has a huge mortality associated with it, uh, you know, uh, essentially 50% of those patients with heart failure are going to die within five years. So as I said at the beginning, it's a devastating disease. Our approach focusing on those patients with uh, muscular dystrophies and heart failure that we will be able to learn how to, how to retard the progression of heart failure, ultimately how to prevent it and apply it more broadly to other patients having other causes uh, leading to heart failure. So this is a terrific opportunity for us to make a significant impact in this patient population and all that's possible at the University of Minnesota.